Ajahal, my name is Jessica Beinecke. I am the writer, host, and producer of VOA's OMG Mayu. Uh, OMG Mayu means OMG American English. Uh, every Monday through Friday, I post a two minute OMG Mayu episode uh, for our Chinese audience, and it teaches uh, American slang that I and all my friends use. Uh, and it's a platform that encourages cross cultural conversations. OMG Mayu started as a monthly travel show, and now it's a daily online show. Uh, we started July 17th posting videos, and a few weeks later posted the viral episode, Yucky Gunk, and it talks about all the yucky gunk that comes out of your face and how to talk about it and the idioms that go along with it. And uh, it curr currently by itself has 1.5 million hits, and this past Monday was OMG Mayu's uh, three-month anniversary. We have more than 4 million hits on the Chinese uh, web uh, video site, Yoku. So here's a quick clip of yucky gunk. Since you want me to learn to all of the gunk that comes out of your face. Yan shi, in my face is sleepy. Bi shi, in my face is booger. If a person is very annoying, you can call him that. You are being such a booger. BT. In my face is snot. Ugh, I'm so sick. Ugh, my nose is so runny. So much snot. <laughs> so who knew that one would go viral? Thank you. Um, so uh, the name OMG Mayu came about because we needed a new name for the travel show, which was originally called Baijie Speaks English. Baijie is my Chinese name, and we found out that Baijie is the title of a very popular porn novel in China. <laughs> So we needed a new name. Uh, and when brainstorming this new name, we really wanted to capture the essence of what this new online video would be, which is cross-cultural communication. And a very popular online phrase used by both young Americans and Chinese is, OMG, oh my gosh. But when the Chinese use it, they take it to the next level, and they say, um, oh, sorry, bye bye, bye, Jia. Um, oh, my Lady Gaga. Uh, <laughs> they really do. It's, it's everywhere. Uh, so, um, OMG Mayu is getting a lot of positive feedback from our fans. Here are a few quotes from our fans expressing how OMG has improved their English, their understanding of a new culture, or maybe just their mood that day. And OMG Mayu is also breaking language and culture barriers. I think we can all relate to the topics we discuss on OMG Mayu, whether it's going on a run, eating Mexican food, breaking up with your boyfriend. Um, you know, I think when two cultures realize just how similar they are, uh, they, that, I think that's the crucial point in cross-cultural communication, <laughs> getting the two-minute point. Um, so our Weibo followers create uh, all of the OMG Mayu content every week, and I ask them, which means, okay, what do you want uh, to study next week? Um, and each episode is based on user-suggested topics. So Kelsey Loves You Forever suggested uh, talking about the many ways to use the word freak, and that's exactly what we did. Freak out! Okay, don't freak out. I lost your computer. You did what? Control freak, control freak, control freak. My boss is such a control freak. He changes everything I do. Not true. Bill Baum is a great boss. <laughs> um, so I'm constantly interacting with our fans. It's the favorite part of my day. To date, I've received seven date requests and 15 marriage proposals. <laughs> And to their disappointment, I mentioned my boyfriend, Brandon, in one of the dating shows, and he got a number of his own, two death threats. <laughs> yeah, he's since gone into hiding, changed his name to Scott. Um, so my fans have expressed their love in many ways as well. They are kind enough to make their own fan page, which is fantastic. And it got a little weird when they turned me into a Smurf, so. <laughs> Um, two graduate students in Beijing, one from Beijing University and one from Tsinghua, uh, made their own iPhone app uh, av available on iPhone and Android that's available 
and you should definitely check it out. It's just so well done. And Raina calls this my PSP, perfect success point. And I have a China-based doppelganger look-alike. She's got the blonde hair, she's got the same font I use, and the same content for teaching English uh, and speaking Chinese at the same time. And um, however, she doesn't dance to Lady Gaga at the end of the video, so I still got that that edge. Um, but I want to talk about some impact that really matters. Here's an example of how OMG Mayu is impacting Chinese youth. Uh, one of our fans is a teacher in China, and he says he shows OMG Mayu to his students every morning. And this is a screen grab of um, the OMG Mayu show playing on his classroom's uh, um, projector screen. I need one of those things on my arm. Um, I think there's an opportunity here for OMG to grow and become a well-known educational tool in China, um, in, in Chinese classrooms. So finally, here we are today. We've created a very strong foundation for cross-cultural education, and I think the next steps are really key to maintain our impact in China, um, specifically getting our fans more involved in making their own videos. And we are currently creating strategy to encourage our fans to make videos right along with me every week. And um, I think that's going to be something you can look forward to in the very near future. So thank you for your time, and more importantly, check out OMG on YouTube. <laughs>